first of all, thank you for this interview. Uh, <laughs> could you tell me a bit about your band, who and what is Dev Devils? Yeah. Okay, so we are like a couple of motherfuckers who likes to play rock and roll, and this is our first tour, so we're enjoying a lot traveling. And Cuba here is the bassist, and Pipe, the joker or the guitarist. Yeah, I'm Lucifer, the main singer. And I'm the one who kicks drums. <laughs> Eric. <laughs> yeah. All right, so when and how did you guys come together as a band? Oh, we've been playing a couple of years. I think it's like almost seven years yeah. playing together. I think so. Yeah, we got another band back in the day. But this band started in 2020, the first, probably like February, and almost in the pandemic. Yeah. So we started like playing our songs and everything. I think we, our first show was like in 2021. Fun, um, crazy yeah, fun. Yeah, we've been playing since 2021, and we try to play in everywhere we can, everywhere they let us play. So we are ready to to eat the world. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's go to the music. Uh, dead punk and action rock can mean many things, but how would you describe your music in your own words? I mean, if you like Turbo Negro, if you like helicopters. Uh, you will probably like us because we we have like a lot of that from that bands. We have uh, a lot of reference in, in many many bands. I mean, uh, Eric and I uh, grew up with uh, 77 London punk because of my father. Um, Pipe went uh, grew up with uh, another. Yeah, like yeah, like nineties, yeah, nineties, yeah, and then Cuba is. It was. Uh, I'm, I was a, a small metal. Yeah, yeah, I'm metal. yeah. So we, I don't know, like uh, shake them all and just. Just everything that we can. Yeah, this is like a cocktail of rock yeah, and roll. Yeah, that is it. Of. So Molotov. we don't like to to put like in a genre of our music because we do whatever you, we want. Yeah, so. Exactly. Uh, I think that we are very difficult to to like put us in, a, in a, any genre. So yeah, that's it. <laughs> Where does the inspiration come for oh, your music and lyrics? Um, I mean, we we don't like the church. We we don't like <laughs> Jesus. We don't like God. So we we try to do like rock and roll against uh, the things we don't like. And just just to have fun. Yeah, just share the I mean, like, things that we don't like to things that we like. Yeah. Something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Hard to explain, but. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty hard. Well, uh, continuing from that, uh, are you a political band? And if so, is uh, what is the message? Um, I don't think that we are specifically a political band, but we have that. Uh, side of political we just mm, I don't know get our ideas to the world and whoever takes it it's okay for us but I don't know I would yeah, I wouldn't say welcome. that we are a political band but it has that that part yeah <laughs> okay let's take one example song a love song came out last year so could you tell me a bit about that song its background and so on uh, yes. this is on an yeah <laughs> i think that's just the, the silly love song yeah that's just one silly love song that we made i think that's the only one that we that does, doesn't have any meaning you know it's like uh, just some feelings that i have sometimes or something like that uh, maybe just watching out on other people and that stuff, I don't know. Yeah, because we are perfect, you know? Yeah. <laughs> we, <laughs> no. we don't have issues. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's it. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> if that is the odd duck in the bunch, maybe you want to tell a story about uh, another song of yours. Okay, um, we, we can talk about, like, Diary of a Broken Bow. Yeah. Maybe. Oh, yeah, yeah. It is a song that talks about depression. We took uh, the lyrics right for from, uh, from uh, a diary. Yeah, a diary note. that a girl uh, had on the internet that was being uh, 
we're not saying her name because yeah. we, we, we don't like to. Yeah. Well, you, you can search if, if you yeah, want. Yeah, there was the inspiration of her diary that she was putting on the internet, and all the lyrics are from from that diary. I yeah. didn't write anything, so uh, that's for me. That's really impactant, and that's what I wanted to to put on that song. I don't know if I'm explaining myself well, but yeah. Yeah, we, we are Spaniards, so yeah. our, our, our English is like. <laughs> yeah, give us a couple of years. <laughs> <laughs> we try our best. <laughs> yeah, and yeah, I think dancing uh, uh, with the devil is another song, but it has it has a meaning. But it's uh, from our our upcoming uh, next first album, so it all has a story, and it uh, yeah. is like a, yeah transition. Yeah, it's like a like a full LP. That, that like tells a story, right? So yeah. every single song has like a meaning to the next one. Yeah. It's like if you listen to all of it, it all makes sense. Yeah, so that's it. Probably <laughs> you need to buy it. That's what I I'm mean, saying. if you hear Dancing with the Devil alone, is like just a party song. But yeah. if you hear like Tonight, that comes like just Earth. yeah. yeah and then, then you have to yeah. listen. Yeah, you need to like listen to every single song to grab the meaning of. All of them. Yeah. Also, yeah. Lucifer, which is uh, another single that we have on on YouTube now. Uh, it is the same, you know. It's it's have the the history of the of the album. It yep. them two just doesn't have any special meaning, you know. They wow. have, but uh, inside of the history that we made. So pull it, like slowly, slowly, we're gonna bring more stuff yeah. out, <laughs> and everything is gonna have like a meaning. So that's why. Uh, yeah, all your publications have been like one or two songs at a time yeah. till now. So uh, you already mentioned the upcoming album. So in what stage is that album now? Uh, it's everything is recorded already. Mm -hmm. Everything needs to be mastered. Yeah, and mix it. Ma yeah, yeah. So it's we at went, the mixing mastering part right now. Yeah, we went to Italy to record it at Chronosome Factory uh, on last April. I think it was. Yep. And so, yeah, that's now it's the mixing and mastering. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Luca. Yeah. Uh, yeah. We love you. <laughs> so, uh, what's kind of the time span that you have been working on these songs and how have you been writing this music? Uh, oh. Well, as, as we said, we started this uh, band in 2020. So, the. Like pandemic, in January or Yeah, something in like that. February, January. Yeah. I don't really remember. But, yeah. So we have uh, all the pandemic uh, time to write those songs, and yeah, that that was the time that we we made the, that songs. We uh, people had some mics and stuff to record it by ourselves. So we started like uh, making a pre-production of of yeah, it. we did like four pre-productions yeah. of the album. <laughs> yeah, we we are really in conformist. So yeah, we're perfectionists. Yeah, that's not the same. Well. Yeah, I think we are both. Yeah, <laughs> we are both. both. <laughs> both yeah. <laughs> and so yeah, they they were writing uh, writing a uh, long time ago now. <laughs> so we can't wait to get it out. Yeah, but now is the time to get everything out. So yeah. probably finish this like final couple months of this year. Hope so is gonna be out. And then die like in a car. Oh. No, twenty seven. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Only him is 27. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. oh, yeah, that's a problem. <laughs> yeah. Well, not to dwell on the past that nobody wants to remember anymore, but how was the uh, pandemic time for a new band? I, I, I love it. I mean, I, I will fucking just forget everything <laughs> about that time. Because, yeah. I mean, it, it was like, okay, we ha you have the time to do your stuff if you want to do like more songs if you want to do like lyrics riffs everything so yeah but you can't rehearse yeah. you can't yeah. do anything you can't see people you can't do anything so as music alone is something for some people is good but like we like it yeah. in a group yeah, yeah. that's what we most enjoy it. that's why it's the, that's why we play yeah also we, we, we always have like the 
I don't know, the no future from the Sex Pistols, you know, in, in 2018 or something like that. We were like, yeah, there's no future, there's no future. Then the pandemic came and we were like, oh, fuck, now there's no future. But I think that now it's pretty, pretty good uh, again. So we are yeah, it's really sad, happy now. At, yep. uh, in the pandemic, we were so depressed it was like oh my fucking god there's no music all uh, the venues are closing and uh, you know everything sucked so now we are really happy because of that maybe it's it's something that you have to live to appreciate <laughs> it you know uh, we still have you know that no future feeling but not the, it's not the same, you know. We are a little bit older and we have been through a lot of shit. So I guess that we can say that maybe there's some future for us. Maybe. <laughs> yeah, let's uh, talk about uh, scenes a bit. How has the local underground music scene in Valencia bounced back after the COVID? Or, you know, if you want to say Spain in general. Yeah, no, it's not the same. It's been general, it's not the same. Yeah, it's yeah. Just, it's just spe- spe- it's like a special, a small, a small place. Yeah, probably well, there's only two to three places that you can play really. Yeah, like, uh, like yeah. underground, like I mean, yeah, there's yeah, there's a couple of underground places there, but like we don't usually play in there. Yeah, we we have a place called Dieciséis Taneladas, yeah. sixteen tones. Yeah, yeah. it's it's so like, our venue. Yeah, yeah they like, like our our yeah, fathers. Yeah, fathers. Yeah. Fathers. <laughs> Uh, yeah, well, it's kind of difficult because uh, there are some young bands in, in Valencia that now that are uh, upcoming and we watch it and, you know, we are really happy because we are tired of seeing groups of 40, 40 years people coming up stage with the same public and the same songs as 14 years ago that you know it is like I mean it's, it's okay with yeah. that people yeah, yeah we enjoy those uh, shows but there's, 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 like, there's, there's no youth there's yeah. no yeah there's no young people. Young people there's no opportunity for the youth because the people goes every th- every fucking time to watch <laughs> the same bands and you know the youth it's like almost a goal yeah. it's, it's, it's not the place to be a uh, how you say it? On rocker. Uh, no, no I, mean, I don't mean that, but like the the place, Valencia, at least Valencia is like every single people like goes is only friends. There's no new people always yeah. coming. Like it's only like whenever there's there's a new upcoming band, it's also from the other band and the other band and yeah. the other band. It's like 15 fucking bands and the same members. So it's like there's no fun in it really. Yeah, I mean, I mean good the, songs, good yeah, bands. I mean, there, but, yeah, there is good but, songs. I'm not but, meaning it's the, the shit, but it's like almost all the time it's the, all the same people. Yeah. There's nothing new. Yeah, yeah the, nothing new. the public is the same uh, always. So yeah. that's why we really appreciate, uh, you know, touring in, in yeah, going outside, out, outside of Spain, of it, yeah. on outside of Valencia specifically, because we always see the same people going to the same concerts. So it's, you know, it's kind of sad when you... When you leave that, yeah, it's yeah. and, and now we, we you come try to living. yeah, you come to another country that doesn't speak even your your language, yep. and there comes people that you don't know who they they are. Yeah, they're interested and in your yeah. music. Yeah, and yep, and Just they, for they the don't rock come. And yeah, they don't come for your friendship. I mean, I understand the people coming for your friendship because our friends, <laughs> cool, that's nice, but that's always the same. There's no people music. Yeah, there's no, yeah, yeah. music yeah. In rock and that kind of yep. music anymore. Yeah, everything is like trap, reggaeton, and yeah. <laughs> you know, we've been talking about the music, but I see some visual cohesiveness there yeah, too. Yeah. That reminds me of uh, Clockwork Orange. Yeah. Even your drinks are, you know, on par. So, uh, so uh, how important is the visual side for you? And um, does the inspiration for that come from the same place as the music? Um. We give the same importance to the music than the yeah, the, the image because you know uh, the band is like separated in two parts. You know they are like the the music part or the show. And yeah, 
and I am the, the image part, you know, I, I'm the one who takes care of that everything is on point, that every, every white is the same, you know, and that stuff, because... Not right now. No, not right now, because we, <laughs> we are full of dudes. Totally too much. <laughs> but, but, yeah, uh, I do really like that kind of things. Um, I don't know, I like that kind of bands, you know, that take care of their, their clothes. I don't like the, the bands going with a band t-shirt and some, I don't know, black trousers. Uh, you know, it's kind of boring. We wanted to impact just the, the first step we get into the, the stage. Yeah, it's kind of classy. You know? Simple. Yeah, and uh, Oslo the Clockwork Orange is one of my favorite movies, so <laughs> I bring it up to, to our, our life. <laughs> So what are your future plans or maybe even dreams for not dying one <laughs> get drunk too and <laughs> get drunk tonight yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. tonight tomorrow, tomorrow. no but yeah uh, touring uh, we, we want to go touring a little bit more we want to do a proper lo uh, routine the routine, album yeah. the album yeah that's one of the yeah, most important things we're really year. hyped about the album yeah we've and been touring waiting around the world that's that's yeah. I think that's the best thing we could do right now, for Dream at least. Yeah. You know, everything small seems like a big thing for us, so we are just like kids <laughs> on, on this tour. <laughs> and we're living like a, a fucking dream touring around Europe, because Chema Zorita, our manager, is fucking crazy. He, he managed everything to get us to uh, incredible places like t today we're playing at restaurant yeah. in here in Berlin yes. and seek one band like fucking blows our minds play it on the yeah. five, five, five like, well, a couple, yeah. couple days ago couple yeah. days, couple days couple weeks ago so yeah playing the same venues the people that we like is like pretty yeah. cool so yeah, we play two at the secret place. Yeah, yeah as secret place that's gonna play, gonna play so, in Nashville yeah, and uh, Oslo. Uh, they don't panic in Essen. Yeah, the Essen. We yeah. played uh, the next day that Nashville Pussy, Pussy played. Play, yeah. So we were like, wow. <laughs> yeah, we play in Marseilla in a place um, that played Mad Scene too. Yeah. So it's it's, it's fucking you know, incredible. It's, yeah, it's to so us. crazy. Yeah. El Rudy quiere decir algo. Eric wants to say everything. Something? It's a little bit no. shy. No. Shy and a badass. <laughs>